what's going on guys? So this video goes out to all of the single people that might be watching this that are wondering what are some of the signs that they can look for, some of the, the ways that they can determine whether someone would be a good and godly spouse somewhere down the line. And I think that this video is meant to save you a lot of heartbreak by keeping you from investing all of your time into someone that you should have known better about from the start. I was asking the Lord to give me motivation for a video to make and I was listening to a video that was talking a little bit about the Kim Kardashian and Kanye West thing that's going on right now, whatever you would call it. And basically, Kim said that part of the reason for the divorce was because she finally wanted to choose her own happiness. But basically, the whole point of that segue is just to tell you guys that there are certain qualities in a person that can cause a relationship not to work out and that can make you realize if you see these red flags in someone early on that it's somebody that you need to go ahead and move on from anyway. So the big problem with what Kim Kardashian said about this whole situation is that there is nowhere in the Bible that it says that when you marry someone that the primary goal, the end goal, is to be happy. And actually the Bible doesn't say that happiness is a goal period while we're here on earth. As much as a lot of the prosperity gospel people would like to think that happiness is the end goal and that God just wants us to be happy, the, the goal of a parent is not for your child to be happy. If you knew as a parent that giving your kid free reign of the house or whatever else he or she wanted would bring them happiness, you still wouldn't do it because that's not good for your child in the long run. In the same way, God has much much higher priorities for us than just happiness. And happiness is kind of like a temporary thing. Like joy is like our peace and joy in the Lord. And material possessions and things of this world don't end up bringing us joy because it's, it's temporary. It comes and goes. If we find our joy and our identity in the Lord, then it's everlasting. If you are with someone that prioritizes their own happiness over anything else, you're going to be in big trouble. You're going to be set up for arguments, for divorce. This takes me to the main point of this video. And the main point of this video is that the only way that a godly relationship can work out, if you're a Christian, if you really truly believe in what the Bible says, you have to make sure that your significant other takes every single aspect of the Bible seriously. It can't be that, oh, they believe in tithing, but then they think, oh, well, divorce on, you know, grounds other than adultery or something like along those lines, that that's okay. Because if you find those inconsistencies, if you find those things where it's like a salad bar, where they take some of what they want and leave all the things that they don't want, that's the most dangerous thing that you can possibly have in a significant other, in my opinion. Because if you're following the Bible verbatim, word by word, every single commandment that the Lord asks you to keep, every single thing that these godly men in the Bible encourage us to do, if, if, if your significant other doesn't believe in all of those things, what principles are keeping you guys on the same page? One of the biggest ones and, and, and something that probably will get you in a lot of trouble with the wrong person. This is a really, really good sign here if the, the person you're with gets this one right. Basically, if you are a man and you're dating a woman, then they need to be on the same page as far as submission. This is one of the big things that modern Christians don't hold steady to is commands like that. Different people have completely different roles. Just like the Bible's analogy about different body parts having different functions, it doesn't mean that one is less valuable than the other. It just means that they were created to do different things. And the Lord created men and women to do different things. And as a man, if you are with a woman that believes that they should have all of the same responsibilities, all of the same authority that a man has, then that is an incredibly dangerous thing as a devout Christian. Here's another really good example. So if you're married to someone and you know that the Bible basically says that we should love our wives like Christ loved the church. Now the way that Christ loved the church is he laid his life down for the church. He sacrificed his life to save 
the lives of those that believe in him. And so marriage is like a microcosm of that. So if you're with someone that doesn't believe that marriage is about serving the other person, that, that believes, like Kim maybe believes, that it's about making me happy in the end, like that's what's going to bring me the most peace and joy and satisfaction out of my life. If you're with someone that is shaky in their faith, that doesn't hold fast to the ideals of the Bible, that doesn't believe everything that God tells us to do, then you're going to end up finding so many little things later on when you get out of that honeymoon phase are going to be like, wow, I, I didn't think that this was the person that, that I was getting involved with. Wait a minute, who are you? Just a quick break in the video to remind you guys to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy this content and want to see more. If you do that, it helps these videos to get to more people, and that's greatly appreciated. Thanks. If you're with someone that every single subject, every single topic, it's a biblical worldview of, of everything. If the person you're with, every single box is ticked, every single biblical thing, they believe in it, then you're probably not going to find a bunch of things when you get married. Uh, I mean, maybe you'll find some kind of gray area things, but all of the really big things that are going to lead to enormous fighting, but all the really big things that are going to lead to enormous fights that, that might lead to divorce, all of these things, you're going to have the same view on it. And while you might fight and you definitely will have disagreements or arguments about stuff, it's not going to end up escalating to the same degree that it could with people like Kim and Kanye, because obviously there are aspects of Christianity that those people do not take very seriously. And so that would be my number one message from this video is that whoever you're with, evaluate every single aspect of their lives. Do they treat people the way that Jesus says to treat people? Do they believe in the same kind of gender roles that the Bible believes in? Are there any sort of differences between what they believe and what the Bible clearly states? Because if there are differences in those things, then who knows what they could possibly believe in. And as a Christian, you wanna be on the same page. One of the best descriptions for what a relationship should look like is like a triangle. So here you are, here your significant other is, and if you're both looking up at God, you're going to meet up here and you're going to be really close. But the second that you start looking down at each other, you're starting to get farther and farther away from each other. And that makes it really difficult to be consistent in your relationship, to consistently feel close. And so I think that a lot of people, when they start just focusing on each other and just focusing on like how Hollywood says to work on relationships, they end up drifting apart. And that's why the divorce rate in Hollywood is so unbelievably high. And it's actually really high among Christians too. But I think that that's just because they are... Number one, I think a lot of them are Christian in name only. And two, I think that a lot of people say that they're Christians and then don't follow a lot of the commands of the Bible. And so they end up being really, really off on a lot of issues. They end up having really big differences. And when you're not both following the same rule book, the same handbook, and you're trying to build Ikea furniture, one person's going to be trying to build a table leg and the other person is trying to build an armrest. And that's a really difficult and weird analogy. I don't know where I got that. It was literally just spur of the moment, but you know what I'm trying to say, I think. So basically, in conclusion, if you're dating someone and they have some wildly weird idea about that women can be pastors and I don't know why you believe that other than that you just have an emotional attachment with that belief. If you're coming across somebody that's doing that, that is a very, very clear red flag. And if you ask them about it, show them the biblical proof that that's not what you should believe, and they still think that that's just outdated or that I just don't believe that, then you need to run for the hills because that is somebody that is not going to lead you closer to Christ. That is someone that is going to probably bail on you when you start really trying to live a Christian married life. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content just like this. I will see you guys next Saturday. Thanks, guys.